Alrighty, so I've been getting to know my uh, little 22 lever action, not lever action, uh, my, my pump action 22 Remington Model 12. That's actually what it is here. There's a web page for it. Uh, and it gives an awful lot of information. Very helpful. Um, and it actually even talks about this is a kind of gun that was often used at the county fair or the church carnival back in the day i don't know a lot of y'all might have been to a local fair and you'll see them shooting a little pump gun and i guess there's a bunch of different models of this one made mine is a 12a which is the octagon barrel but if you get on down in here somewhere it starts talking about the basic model and then they have the gallery model which is a 12 b shoots 22 shorts only which kind of makes sense if you think about a shooting gallery, of course nowadays I think guns are probably shooting, you know, like pellets with air power or something like that. I don't know. They probably have them set up so that you can't turn them around and shoot anybody in the audience. But I guess back in the day they would use something like that. It's kind of cool, you know. They had a target model and an expert model and a premier model and all this other stuff. But the 12A came with a round barrel and all the rest were fitted with octagon barrels. Uh, this is how mine breaks down. I think I showed y'all that the other night. Oh, just an awful lot of information in here. Um, I was also looking on Cabela's. Cabela's offers a, uh, a Henry Pump 22. There it is right there. I'll bring it up. And I found one of these on uh, in our local sale paper. And somebody commented on it that it, was, um, it wasn't as smooth as the Remington which matters because if you're shooting something and you can cock it without taking your eyesight off your target that means you can kind of repeat repeat your shooting as opposed to you know if you have to kind of cock it on your hip or something like that that means you have to unaim it at your target and then put it back but still it's supposed to be a pretty good rifle they just and they do say it, it wears in and breaks in after you use it a while and becomes a little smoother but never quite as good as the Remington. Anyway, uh, of course, this has that Wild West look, you know, the little hammer and the little receiver here that all looks kind of old style. Uh, anyway, I've just been playing with the gun, getting to know the gun, learning where the safety is, how you load it. It's got a tube, you know, chamber load. You press a little button here. Uh, somebody said in this write up on this gun that uh, on these Remington's the guy that engineered the gun used usually about three parts where one part would do on almost everything they did You can kind of see that it's a it's a well-made kind of an intricately made Little weapon. I like it a lot. I hadn't fired it yet. I, I don't have a big piece of property I thought about going out in my backyard and just shooting it into the dirt, but I hate to do that I don't know why I, it'd be a lot more fun to go out where I got a little room to set up some tin cans and shoot them or something like that so I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not I might freak my neighbors out if I'm out there shooting in the yard so little as my land is here but I just thought I'd share that with y'all I'm, uh, I'm enjoying my little gun a lot I've been uh, you know setting it up here on my desk and looking it over and reading all the fine print oh, there's some fine print I missed right there of course I have to have this magnifying glass to see anything that says, uh, I have to get the light just right. Here, I'll sit over here while I do this. You can watch. Just don't fall over. Twenty-two short. Long or long rifle is what that says. <laughs> Now we know for sure. And there's a serial number down here on the bottom of it, which the guy that sold it had this thing dated. I think it was dated before 1926. It has LW on there, which stands for, which I'm guessing stands for uh, where these guns were made. They were made in uh, This says Illion, New York, I-L-I-O-N. Remington's Arm Company, Illion, New York. So, I guess I thought LW might stand for where it was made, but I don't know. 
L W. When y'all get old, y'all will appreciate being able to see things like I do now. It almost looks like R W instead of L. <laughs> So I'm gonna look at some of these model numbers. There's a bunch of different model numbers here listed. What do we got for model numbers? WRF. So we've got an we've got an A, a B, a C, an NRA, a D, an E, an F. We also have CS, DS, ES, and FS, and then we have a WRF. Doesn't matter, it's a good little gun, it shoots good. Somebody with better eyes than me would be able to read that. I don't know quite where I'm gonna put that. I think I might hide that one in the house somewhere. Sometimes I like to keep a few weapons hit around the house. Loaded. Oh, you know, just in case a visitor comes in the middle of the night that you're not expecting and you don't know. I always like to think it's good to have a weapon that you can get your hands on and uh, I'm not saying that I would do this now, but in my younger days, I used to keep a lot of weapons hid in unusual places so that if I was standing in a particular spot and needed to, I could reach up in the rafters and pull down a loaded gun. But hey, I would never do that because now I'm a grown up, right? Just saying. <laughs> 